Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. I am Dr. Mahbubullah Wazir, and now this is the second lecture about the arterial or arteries of the thigh, and I am discussing the anastomosis at the back of the thigh. Note over here again. This is the superior gluteal. This is the inferior gluteal artery, and this is the superior gluteal artery. This is the greater trochanter, and over here is the trochanteric fossa. On the posterior side, you can see over here. This is the trochanteric fossa. In this trochanteric fossa, there is an anastomosis. Number one, you can see ascending branch of medial circumflex and ascending branch of lateral circumflex, and from above, a descending branch of the superior gluteal artery. This anastomosis is called as trochanteric anastomosis. Present over here in this trochanteric fossa, and this trochanteric anastomosis may be joined by a branch from the inferior gluteal artery, and from this anastomosis, then arteries passes through the neck. and it is one of the big supply of the head of the femur to contract anastomosis then you look over here this is the lesser trochanter this is the lesser trochanter at the lesser trochanter present over here look a branch transverse branch from the medial circumflex femoral and a transverse branch from the lateral circumflex femoral and a descending branch from the inferior gluteal artery and ascending branch of this first perforating artery this is first perforating it divides into ascending and descending branch in this way cross anastomosis is being established over here you look look a transverse branch from this side transverse branch of medial circumflex femoral and a transverse branch of lateral circumflex femoral and a descending branch from the inferior gluteal artery and over here is the first perforating ascending branch from the first perforating and this way a cross or cruciate anastomosis is being established at this lesser trochanter then the ascending branch of first perforating it anastomose with the in the cruciate anastomosis then look this is first perforating ascending branch take part in the cruciate anastomosis descending branch of first anastomose with the ascending branch of second then descending branch of second anastomose with the ascending branch of third and then the descending branch of third and anastomose with the ascending branch of the fourth while the ascending branch of the descending branch of the fourth this descending branch of the fourth it anastomose with the upper muscular branch of the popliteal artery this fourth perforating artery it ascending branch anastomose with the descending of the third while the descending branch of the fourth it anastomose with the upper branch of the popliteal artery in this way the popliteal artery is being connected ultimately to the internal iliac artery which is present inside the pelvis through the superior and inferior gluteal artery and a chain of anastomosis is being present at the back of the thigh between the superior and inferior gluteal artery branches of internal and then the branches of profund of femoris at the trochanter and the greater and lesser trochanter and then at the back of the thigh ultimately with the popliteal artery this is the anastomosis at the back of the thigh and connects our conical channel between the popliteal artery and the internal iliac artery the i this i think now you will understand the anastomosis at the back of the thigh present between the internal iliac between the profunda femoris and the popliteal artery thank you very much